the that's the really currently going at thirty three hertz. Record breaking speed, you can hear the calls. What we might do, given we know the inverse we now need now to get it to work, uh, what we might do if there's any spare cash from the teaching fund, but that, that's a, that's, that, that's <laughs> we are now at 36 hertz. Never going to happen. But we're trying to get what might beat our record of 37 because this is a really good thing to have as an open day exhibit. What I might do is 43. Oh, can, we, it, yeah. can we? Can uh, we? Spazzed out there for a bit. I'll see yourselves go back to now. Thirty unit built up permanently for this. Oh, so it's, it's, it's going to crack. Sit yeah. so Thirty-seven we, nearly. Thirty-six point nine. Single phase. Just hit the resonant frequency of the. Bearing. The bearing again. Yeah. Let's hit a harmonic of the resonant frequency of the bearing. Yeah. Oh, we're up to thirty-seven point thirty-eight. There we go. No, it's dying. And then you lose it again. Ah. Uh, I think it's because you hit the resonance of that, and I think that it, it's the bearing. Really, yeah, might be the bearing that actually you're not. The bearing's just not, not made for those speeds. So, <laughs> what, is it a ball? Is it? Yeah, it's. Ball? It's a very oh, very a simple good, one. Yeah, it's a ball track. Yeah. yeah, it's the one that I think Pete Meeson said it was. From a, it's the same one from yeah, for a turntable. Yeah. yeah. So in other words, what you get is it. It needed to be wide though, didn't it? Just to handle the. Uh, uh, the forces, the vertical forces. <laughs> you could yeah. stick one of those on top and get food <laughs> spinning off it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah